Hi, this is Kathy Garropy, contributor to the Sun Chronicles Garden section. Today we're going to be talking about making more plants. Today we're going to be dividing some daylilies and some bearded iris. These are rosy returns. They're in the same family as happy returns and same type of daylily as the Stella Diora daylily. Each section can make a whole new plant. We could even break this down further and make two or three out of it. So carefully, slowly tease them apart and we get more plants. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, out of one clump. Not bad. If there are any weeds growing in with them, make sure that they're out of there so you'll get a nice, good plant. Take off any of the older leaves. If you wanted to make this a little bit, a few more. Fill up the container about halfway full with potting soil. Holding the plant up so that the roots just touch the potting soil, fill in the rest of the plant. and add water. Here are some bearded irises. This whole garden is overgrown, so everything needs to be taken out. In here, we're able to pull up individual rhizomes. You want to make sure that the rhizomes are hard, they're not soft at all, and take off any excess foliage. See how this is fleshy here? and, and uh, almost like a potato. You probably want to wait about a day before you replant them, just to let them heal a bit. This right here looks like it could have iris borer. See how that's all been eaten and it's all watery? I will have to look very carefully to make sure that there are no small worms eating their way through there. I will now go change my gloves uh, because it can, this can also spread infection from one plant to the other. These over here were planted so that you could still see the most of the rhizome. The root is planted down in the ground and the rhizome needs to stay at the top to gather more warmth. Could use a little bit more soil around here. But remember to keep the rhizome mostly just at the soil level. 